In the United States, our federal government in Washington, D.C. is the weak point in our democracy, without which state-level reforms cannot succeed. And as here, two-thirds of Americans want the wars ended, want our corporations and billionaires taxed, want our rights expanded rather than curtailed. We want our money invested in jobs and green energy, not a global military that can't stop itself. Our government in Washington goes in the opposite direction, opposing popular will on all of these major issues, regardless of personality or party. On October 6th, a Thursday, the Afghanistan war will complete its first decade as the United States goes into its 2012 austerity budget. Tahrir Square in Cairo, Egypt, translates as Liberation Square. We have in Washington, D.C. a square with the similar name Freedom Plaza. This square is located between the Capitol and, Washington, and the White House along Pennsylvania Avenue. And built into its surface is the map of downtown Washington on which nonviolent resistant actions can be planned. This past week, a coalition of organizations and prominent individuals announced at October2011.org a plan to begin a people's occupation of Washington, D.C. on October 6th and to build it into something larger on the 7th, the 8th, and the 9th and not to leave until we are satisfied. Now our situation in the United States may be different from here. People have to travel very, very far to get to Washington, D.C. We have no media outlets that would cover a rally if we held one, and our government, I would dare say, is far more corrupt than your own. So this will not be another rally and march on a Saturday where we make home movies and pat ourselves on the back and go home. We are going to Washington to stay, to shut down the offices, to shut down the <laughs> I came here with just one announcement to make, or one plea for an announcement to make. It's one of the downsides of being the last speaker, <laughs> that it's already been announced. <laughs> I speak as the one who got scolded by Lindsay for being the first person to predict that we were going to have a million people on our demonstration on February 15, 2003, I, I say to the authorities again, we're fed up marching from A to B. Now we're going to occupy public space in London until these wars are at an end.